Yeah, he calls them the scrapyard finds, and I've seen one of the videos. But uh, the MF risen polymer, MF. I was searched for every kind of variation of polymer I could find. And uh, can't show the screen because I'm not doing a live, doing a OBS Studio video. But uh, polymer extraction adhesive. Uh, I, some of this stuff is uh, there's a lot of different type of polymers out there. But I didn't see anything that liquid nails is in the polymer family, and it's not very good. Uh, and even it's not even good for what it's meant for gluing on paneling. Uh, I never, I, I never had uh, like that stuff once I started using it back in the late. I guess it was early '80s. I was gonna say late '70s, but it's early '80s. I think when I started using, I was a cabinet maker and. You know, I like I I would very often go out and install the cabinet. Sometimes we'd go put in, you know, like we did some commercial jobs. We'd put up Wayne's coat and stuff. And remember, we did one job where there was uh, there wasn't no uh, the 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 framework. The framing wasn't two before it was metal uh, metal framing, and uh, you couldn't. It was so thin when you, if you drove a screw into it, it would just strip instantly. And we tried using. We, we kind of did a combination of liquid nails and screws, but we even we even used nail guns and shoot them on an angle and stuff. But because uh, uh, the screws were just not, you could like put an, <laughs> you could put one this way and one this way, and it would hold. Uh, sometimes pull it in tighter than a nail, a uh, finished nail would uh, hold it tighter than if you drew drove a screw in there. Because you don't use a big head screw. Well, it didn't matter. It's the the threads were stripping right through the metal. It was just, you know, that metal's really thin that they make those sheet metal studs out of. And, uh, and this was back in the 80s, and probably not telling how thin it is now. But anyway, yeah, I'm just seeing all kinds of stuff that... Uh, that I don't... Uh, tight bond, that's for tile, I think. So polymer, I ended up doing some research on what polymer is, you know, and I found out that I don't see them. Oh, I guess if I just polymer, just polymer. Oh, everything's got polymer in it. So anyway, I'm not going to keep looking at that. Um, that was the thing I thought, oh, that'd be perfect. Uh, you wouldn't have to pour it and try to, because if you mix up some epoxy or something, uh, you know, you're going to have to do something to keep it from running out of the area where you want it. This stuff is thick enough. It's like, it's basically works like caulk, but it's much tougher than caulk. It would stay where you put it. And uh, you could just squirt it in that area and then jam the, the, jam the uh, shaft for the wheel in there, you know, for the, the wheel in there with some, put some grease on it so they won't glue it to it. <clears throat> and jam it in there. And then once it's dry, it'd be, it would, should be pretty, Pretty usable that way. I don't know how long it would last, <coughs> but if this stuff is as strong as he, he, he looked like it was in his videos, then uh, that would be cool. And then I, I found—I already knew about them, but I found uh, um, there's these metal insert things that. Uh, That you, uh, uh, that uh, they use, especially with like metal legs and stuff a lot, or wood. You'll drive them into wood, and it's just the right size. You have to get the right size for your. I found out there's different sizes of of studs coming out of the wheels, so you got to get the right size. But uh, so that's why I didn't order any yet because I needed to measure these, flip the chair over and measure them and everything. Haven't done that, <coughs> but uh, I guess that's something I ought to do. <clears throat> Anyway, um, I think I'll close the browser again because it makes me just want to look at it. 
Yeah, but this is my my normal position. Yeah, about that. It's only just just a little more than my hand's width, and that puts my arm in just the right place. And uh, I, I I still kind of need that. Well, I can move that a little bit. Now that's okay. If I have that right on the edge, but not sticking over, then that's okay. That's got my hands at. Uh, I could go that way a little bit more, and it might be better. And my elbows hit the chair arms perfectly. I'm not doing that, you know. So, no, I'm not giving up this perfect chair. And it hits me perfectly. Uh, this My back, all the way from right under my shoulder blades, I just now realized, a little lower than the other one, all the way to the, my... I mean, I can't feel a place where my back's not touching my lower back. That is what makes it the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. This here is comfortable. I like it. The only thing I don't like is when I move around, it'll fall. Or if I lean forward, it'll do that. It'll drive me crazy. When I'm, uh, especially like I always do it when I'm making a video. I'll forget, you know. I'm thinking about so many things at once that I will, uh, when I'm doing a desktop and camera and all that combined, I will uh, go start arguing with this thing, you know. But, um, yeah. No matter which base I use, the wheels and all that, I will still need, uh, I really will, do need a new, uh, uh, gas hydraulic lift. I just rolled over my, <coughs> but just roll over my mic cord. Oh crap. Got it right up in there. Shoot. There. See, I'm using a wired mic uh, for simplicity and reliability, but that's one thing that's not good about using a wired mic. But yeah, I have to fight. I mean, I just seriously have to fight. I have to ram the. Uh, wheels into my foot to get it to turn and that's how I hurt my foot. I've hurt it really bad before. And I've, in the last six months I've hurt it three times, maybe less than six months, pretty badly. I mean, it'll take a week or two to, he to heal it up. It like wants to sprain my foot or my ankle and I think it bruises it up too. I, I don't realize <coughs> that I'm not wearing my work boots and I'm not tough anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, old man. Okay. And I always used to wear work boots, so... I, you know, I just didn't... I'm wearing moccasins, not work boots. So. Yeah, I kind of... What'll happen is it twists my, my ankle too far and it makes it starts hurt. I just did it a little bit just now. I, do it, I don't realize it. I get, you know, I'm like, move, you know, hit it harder. And what I'm hitting is my own foot. Trying to get that base to move around i am disappointed that i bought that chair and i've had it a month finally get it together and it's not anything like what i want i mean i of all you know how they cut corners and they they try to cut down um uh, they make it metal thinner everything thinner two befores haven't been two befores in my whole life they're not two inches by four inches there they were i think an inch and let me see. I think they were. I'm trying to remember if, like, when I was a kid, they were. They might have been an inch and three quarters. But I, what I remember, like, when I was growing up, they were inch and a half, I believe. Yeah, inch and a half by. Uh, now I can't even remember. I know they weren't four. I think they were three and a half. But I've noticed in the last ten years or twenty years. They've all, they've come all, come down another quarter to a half inch in size. Wood, all the all your, you know, your store bought wood. And uh, so anyway, everything is smaller. Even chairs, they're scrimping on chairs. You, I, I don't know if you could really tell. Well, I explained it. I don't know if you could see it, but that's one of the bigger ones. I mean, I looked and looked and. I noticed in the reviews that people were saying, this is a chair for a child, you know, and I'm 5'2", I'm a woman, you know, stuff like that. And I go, well, holy crap, glad, thank you for telling me that. This one I can set in, just. 
but it's not comfortable. My arms were having to be like that, instead of like that. Everything I said, uh, it, this chair here, you can probably, you might be able to hear it creaking and rocking with me getting in and out of it. But uh, uh, I, I was thinking about showing the wheel condition, but I don't want to get into all that. When I go to fix it, maybe I'll make a video. But the chair itself is, uh, I, I mean, from 2004 to 2021, there's a little bit of rubbed off there. No rips in it or anything. It's shiny for me sitting in it for so many years. But the cushions in it, I did, I did, that's what's wrong with my mom's chairs. All the cushion up in here is gone. It's just, it just descended. And I, somebody was saying that on some of these newer chairs, and hers is newer. But the, the foam, and I've seen the foam do that, uh, you know, when I got some foam out in the garage. And I've seen it do that. It'll just disintegrate. It's just poor quality foam. But, uh, yeah, and this one is actually a full multi vibration chair. I, like I said, I haven't turned over the vibrator, turned it on in years. I don't know if I even have the thing down here. I used to keep it down there where I could uh, uh, keep I used to keep it plugged in down there, but I think I decided to unplug it because, you know, it does... Uh, well, it probably does use a little electricity, but mostly I'd worry about it. the things just um, going bad and burning themselves up because they're on all the time when they're not even being used. But anyway, I don't know for sure if it's under there or where. If it's not down there, I might have put it in a box up here and don't even know where it is. But the uh, the power supply for it, the brick, it's a specific type, and, and it's not an average uh, amperage and voltage to, uh, that you would see real often. So. Anyway, uh, you can tell that the seat is, I guess it's really pretty darn good. I mean, when you look at it, it kind of looks, oh, that might be, that looks kind of worn, you know, the like maybe it's not as cushy as it used to be, but I'll tell you what, this thing is all these years old and it's 10 times more cushy than that one, the brand new one that I just bought. So... Yeah, with this pillow, it's just perfect. The, the The rim of my glasses, it's actually, the when I look at the top of the screen, uh, I can see the top rim of my glasses. So, uh, like this, it's just right. When I'm, I don't really notice it. Once I get to watching a video and I'm into the video, I don't really even notice that, I'm, you know, that my glasses are bothering me or anything. They would really bother me. And the way I used to sit most of the time was like this when I, except for it kind of puts a little too much pressure on the back of my neck. It feels kind of good for a minute, but it also kind of hurts. Anyway, that'll make my head go that way, and I can look at the other monitor, the lower, the that's a 23-inch monitor down there. I still do have it hooked up to my old computer, and, well, I have a four-port KVM switch. I have one, two, three. Three running computers in here right now, and then two over here that aren't running. That both of them, well, the old one, I, I don't really want to do anything with it. The one that's my, my footrest, but the other one is a, um, well, is my previous desktop to the previous desktop. And uh, oh, the uh, CPU cooler just broke, just broke, and I need to get another one. So I need to do some work on that. <clears throat> and then my servers that I'm running, actually using right now, is in the closet. <coughs> and I've got long cables, uh, <coughs> HDMI cables <coughs> coming over here. Eight, eight uh, gigabyte video card. <sighs> so anyway, I can look at the, uh, I can use the pillow like this. So my tried and true setup is actually better than the new one. So that's kind of a shame, but that's the way it turned out. Oops! It's a nice looking chair. I like I, I like it. 
And that is, for, now I don't know, for mom that would probably just hit her in the top of the head. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Well, I can leave my regular chair where it is. What I was thinking is, yeah, I just don't. I could sit in this thing and kind of get comfortable all by itself without trying to use the computer or anything. But what I'm thinking is, I will. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and. Oops, let it down. Well, that's okay. I'll leave it all the way down because mom's short. Because I think tomorrow I'm going to give it and offer it to her. I don't know how far. Well, that seems awfully uncomfortable to me, but that's probably where she'd want it. Oops. Even when I, as soon as I let go of the, the bar, the one that's for the leaning is way back there, so it's really... I'm going to put it off all the way up because I think, I don't know if she'd want it that far up. Probably about right there. Yeah. Yeah, and since that hits me right in the neck, I imagine the pillow will hit her right on the head and I'll have to, I'll change, I'll change it later because I might want to plop down in this. I'm going to put it back to where it's more comfortable for me. That's too far back. That's not too bad. And I don't like it that low. I think it goes lower than that one. Oops. There. Feet are flat. There we go. Yep. Just not what I want. Okay, well, one good thing is I know what to do with it. It's not going to go to waste. And I think really and truly it, it, well, it can lean so much this way and that way. And, uh, and it has a foot wrist that might actually be good for mom. <clears throat> Her legs wouldn't be as heavy as mine, I don't think. She can... <clears throat> it is easy. It slides good. <sighs> but your feet are hanging way back. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's not comfortable. With uh, The only reason it was comfortable to me when I was testing it out is because my feet kept running into something to help hold them up. But, well, she's shorter, so it might be better for her. But, uh, yeah, your feet don't feel good. You're, it's, it's hitting you just below the knee right in your calf. And it's... Uh, I can't show it too good without... I don't know what I can do. Let me see if I turn it. This other chair. No, it still doesn't get in the picture of it. But, well, you can see now, kind of, maybe. Uh, it's not a good place for me. I wouldn't want, I couldn't stand that for long. And it's putting way too much strain on it. So it may not be useful for anybody. So but it's it rolls good and that's one thing. So I definitely still gotta do something about the other one so that it doesn't uh, it's actually been hurting me for well, I've been fighting it for years with those messed up wheels. Once or twice, the I was rolling it, and the wheel just came out of its socket, and and uh, that was a real, especially when this stuff like that happens, and you're fighting to get it to spin the right way. They always want to turn the wrong way, you know. You have to. There's a couple of them that the the wheels lean so bad on the other one that uh, I feel like I'm going. I could turn it over with it just just by you know just leaning back faster or something. Uh, so I have to always get them the right wheels in the back and get them turned the right way. And it's just a constant battle. You know, normally these caster wheels, they just want to go to the right place. Um, 
and even if they're not sticking straight back, if they're tight in their socket, like this one that's very new, then uh, no problem. Okay, well, so... <clears throat> Uh, that's it. Uh, head's cut off. But, uh, <clears throat> so you, very new chair, I just want to leave it like that. I keep thinking I want to put it in a, I, what I'm figuring is I'll forget to adjust it and then say, here you go, try this out. And she'll say, oh, that's terrible. It leans back too far. She does not like chairs that lean back, or at least not at the, not at the computer. But, uh, oh well. I, I'm kind of, kind of disappointed. I was really looking forward to having a new chair. But I was kind of wondering if I would ever find one that was comfortable to my back like this one is. And I'm gonna, I've got a feeling that it would be very hard to do. I looked at some other types of chairs that uh, some of them were saying this is a computer chair, but it still didn't have any wheels. They didn't have wheels on them, but they were wide. They're kind of like a mini recliner. Uh, but I, I get, you know, uh, looking at the design of those and the way the cushions looked, I think they're going to feel just like that one. So they're not going to be. That was actually that was why I thought, you know what? I mean, this one does have an art uh, art support back lower. It's upper art support instead of the normal like me. Normal for me. I know everybody's back is different, you know, you're, and your torsos are different lengths. But. Uh, yeah, but see, this one lean. Just this is just where it leans. This is how it lands. Uh, you either sit here like this, especially now that that adjustment screw thing. There was one that gave it more tension. That's what it did. Is it gave it tension when you lean back? It's just flapping in the breeze now. But uh, yeah, see, you can't. I can't even stand to lean my head that far back. But I can touch it. That other one, I couldn't force my neck part back far enough on that one. Because um, that one really has a whole lot more of an arch in it, and it's like I said, it's well. This one hits you right under your shoulder blades, but it it also hits me all the way down to the to my butt. You know, it's just all the way. But uh, yeah, I'm going on and on and on about saying the same thing over and over. I think, but uh, I've got these wheels. These wheels catch this mic cord so easy you know they won't just roll over it they wind up in it did it again it's just completely wound up in it this time Ooh. i don't want to tear up my little you know these cords are so thin these i guess i gotta say they've been wound up in there a few times now that's why i really I got to where after doing that a few times, I just said no. Just use wireless, even though it's uh, more set up and well. And <clears throat> anyway, it, you, things can go wrong with wireless. You can lose your things can quit working, and you don't know it. So especially when you're going straight to the camera. And if if I'm doing a live video and, and I can monitor my live stream, I can if I can remember to do it, I can check it and make sure it's still working by just going to my YouTube page. But anyway. This thing, uh, <clears throat> what I was thinking of is this chair here. This one's heavy. <clears throat> I was thinking I'd lay it back. Yeah, is that in the picture? I was kind of just wanted to look at it myself, but <clears throat> yeah, this way I'll have it on video. <clears throat> yeah, this knob here, just flopping in the breeze. It, uh, you can see that it used to be like press fit onto some kind of extrusion right there, and it, it's worn so much that it just came.